Hello YouTube, this is Morgan, Airspeed Prime here with my next Avatar news update video. Unfortunately, this piece of news is once again about a delay, though I don't think this one is as disappointing as the Rise of Kyoshi audiobook delay from yesterday, but it's still about the Rise of Kyoshi. So this time it's the Rise of Kyoshi paperback, so the paperback reprint of the Rise of Kyoshi, which was initially scheduled for uh, June 9th, 2020. It has now been delayed to July 7th, 2020. So it's been pushed back by four weeks. Um, this still means that the paperback is going to be out two weeks before the release of The Shadow of Kyoshi, which is out on the 21st of July, so two weeks after this. Um, so this is an interesting one. Again, once again, no reason given for this delay. It's just a date changed on the Abrams Books website. And that usually means that this is correct. Now, it is interesting to see that this book, which was initially scheduled for about a month and a half before the release of The Shadow of Kyoshi, it has been delayed, but The Shadow of Kyoshi has not been delayed as far as we're aware. So either this book is delayed because it is released earlier, and it, it's not going to affect books that are coming out a bit further out in terms of like the virus. Or they have specifically chosen, as we've gotten closer to the release of The Shadow of Kyoshi, to sort of alter their sort of marketing plan in the build-up to The Shadow of Kyoshi. Because obviously the paperback reprint of The Rise of Kyoshi being planned for release fairly soon before The Shadow of Kyoshi, the second book, is obviously part of the marketing plan. Uh, I think if you look it up on like Edelweiss and stuff like that, it specifically says that there's like cross promotion in the paperback version of The Rise of Kyoshi. I think they get across the idea that there's going to be like marketing for The Shadow of Kyoshi in it. So there's value to making sure that the paperback still is released before The, um, the Shadow of Kyoshi. Um, in that obviously it would have been kind of weird if this book was delayed to release after the Shadow of Kyoshi, so they obviously have some control over this in terms of l being able to like lock in the Shadow of Kyoshi release date, but only change this one relatively slightly. It's still a month delay, which is kind of substantial, but this may work out maybe slightly better in their favor, just because releasing this book a m month and a half before the release of Shadow of Kyoshi could have been like a little bit too much time in terms of really creating a drive towards the second book whereas two weeks before release absolutely you know can draw that attention and um, arguably it's maybe too soon before release the probably the perfect date would have been like you know only delaying it by three weeks so it's out what end of um june but you know uh, that's maybe thinking about it that little bit too much. Um, so yeah, it, it, it's hard to, to know exactly is just is this just part of their marketing plan in terms of like, this is actually a better release date for this book given what else is going on, or was a lot of this enforced in terms of like, we can only print the book at this specific time, but it means we have to change the date. It's hard to know. But either way, it's still the summer of Kyoshi. The audiobook obviously has been delayed for potentially two weeks but they're saying it's going to be more than likely still out before then it seems like that is the same case for the cd i think the cd is also changed date to the 19th so i guess that means that the cds are produced and done they literally just cannot like sell them or ship them out until they get this approval on the cover kind of weird but um i guess it means there's not going to be too many sort of crazy delays and stuff like that so you know that's still fun you know we only two weeks and we'll have the rise of kyoshi in audiobook and then um obviously after that only a few more uh, weeks then then we get the paperback and then very shortly after the paperback we get shadow of kyoshi so that's that's going to be cool it's still the summer of kyoshi it's just a little bit like altered um i do have the rise of kyoshi paperback ordered i have a pre-order for it um, the reason I'm getting it when I already have the hardcover is that 
I want to have a copy of the Rise of Kyoshi where I can put like notes in it, where I'll actually like highlight sections, write actual notes in it so I can refer to it easier in terms of these are the key notable memorable points in this book. So I can have like easy reference to stuff from this book because obviously this is the first time we've actually had to deal with a proper big novel. And I, I didn't want to in any way mess with my nice hardcover. I was thinking about it, yeah, I'll just take notes in it. But then when I got it, I didn't really want to mess mess with it. So the paperback was kind of perfect for that. I'll, when that comes in, that'll be my big proper sort of annotated edition of uh, Rise of Kyoshi. So uh, when it comes to doing stuff like trivia, I can have references to the most notable and memorable parts of the book for easy reference. That's my plan for the paperback uh, and i'll probably do a video about it when it is actually out but uh yeah that's been the video in the comments let me know what your thoughts are what are your thoughts on this delay Rise of Kyoshi paperback being delayed by four weeks do you think it's part of their marketing plan or was this an enforced change because of the virus what are your thoughts on it's you know you know changing but not really changing things too much it literally is just a delay it's still before the Shadow of Kyoshi, which is where it was in the first place. But let me know your thoughts on that. But that has been the video. Thanks for watching and bye.